here we've got a JTAG'd Xbox 360 running the Freestyle Dashboard 2.2 and the Connect Text plugin. What this plugin basically does is allows you to stream games to your Xbox 360 over the network just from like a standard Windows file share. As you can see here I've got it configured, my PC is called Mini Nutter and the folder my 360 games in is simply called 360 and obviously my Windows username and password is there so the Xbox on and view that share. So if we just go back to the um, file section here, you'll see in the file manager we have a folder, you can't really see it there, called ConX. Basically that's the shared folder on your PC. Now in there I've ripped my copy of Halo Reach and Ketsui which you can see I do own them here. Now basically this 360 is just connected to the network into this gigabit switch here and the PC is also connected in there. If we just go over here you can see that this folder is actually on this PC. We've got network mini nutter 360 and got the games I've ripped there as you can see and then just the task manager monitoring the network usage there so if we go back over to the 360 I'll load Ketsui over the network just to show it works as so this game loads quite quick I mean the speeds won't be as quick as loading from the disk or the hard drive but it's just another alternative really for you to store your games, say like if you're low on space on your 360, you can uh, have them on your PC and just stream them to the various consoles you might have in your house. As you can see the video there is very smooth running over the network. Now this does take longer than usual to load here, usually from the hard drive this is pretty much in. As you can see there the switch well, is flashing so 36 is in number four pc is in number two and you can't really see on the camera but they are flashing and it's streaming the data from the pc and they are we're on the main menu here so if we just go to the pc you can see that there it was streaming the menu now it stopped as it's obviously idle so if we just quickly load the game, I'll show you this plays fine. Playing this with one hand is probably not the best idea as obviously I'm holding the camera in the other. But as you can see it's all pretty smooth just like it was running off your 360 hard drive. And I wouldn't expect to do too well but we'll see. You can see there's nothing wrong there, it's nice and smooth. Right, anyway, I'll load Halo Reach up and then we can just see how like a more a demanding game plays. So again, if we just go back to my shared folder on the network. I've got Halo Reach there. This can take quite a while to load, but I mean it does load and once it has loaded it's perfectly playable just like you were playing off a disc really. I mean the streaming speeds could improve. I don't know if any of you will remember but when the GameCube was first hacked before it had mod chips or anything like that. There was an application which would uh, load an ISO from your PC and stream it across the network and as uh, new versions of that were released the streaming performance improved quite a bit. I believe it was called Animal Crossing Loader because that was the first game it loaded and it was by uh, Starcube. But as you can see that's uh, streaming perfectly over the network, no lag or anything. The audio and video that's all in sync and everything like that. So if we just skip to the menu, if we zoom solo campaign, 
this is where it can take a bit longer than usual to load See that's not took it too long to load. As you can see that is um, quite smooth, it's as smooth as it would be if you were playing it off the disc anyway. And that is loading all the data over a network just shared on a Windows 7 base PC. Anyway, I won't buy you uh, by playing the game, but as you can see, it is very, very smooth. Um, there'll be a tutorial up on how to do this over at digx.net, so I'll leave a link in the description, and if you want to check that out, feel free. Thanks for watching.